The Howie Car Show now presents The Week in Woke. Do you tire of remembering which pronouns to use? Do you find yourself trying to remember the correct acronym when addressing social issues? Are you struggling to find new and exciting ways to reduce your carbon footprint? Well, fear not, friends. The Week in Woke is here to help. So this is when we talk about the unbelievably crazy stories uh, as people and uh, institutions, uh, media, colleges, corporations, government agencies try to be more woke than ever. And it, it's impossible to, uh, to overestimate how crazy and Yeah, who can keep up been. with all these terms and these stories and these new ways of being woke? That's why we refresh your memory every week and bring you the latest. But this is the Reader's Digest of uh, you know, getting, getting a real woke education. This is Woke 101. The condensed version, the cliff notes. Exactly. Yes. There's a lot of stuff this week that has to do with, as usual, white supremacy, but rolled into that is also body image. And we start out with a a story that's really shaken a lot of people to the core who grew up waiting for the Victoria's Secret catalog to come in. It was a special week when that came in for a lot of young men like myself. And women, maybe, if that was your thing. Victoria's Secret has done away with their world-famous Angels supermodels. Have you seen this story, Howie? No, I haven't. No? You sure they just haven't gone to transgender models? Non-binary models? You are more right than you think. Again, like I said, you can't can't out out, uh, satire reality these days. In their place... Victoria's Secret has launched a campaign with high-profile women known for their accomplishments rather than their figures. And Uh leading the pack is soccer star Megan Rapinoe. Uh Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Purple hair will soon grace the cover of Victoria's Secret's catalog. But wait, hasn't Megan Rapinoe uh, had a a bad uh, Twitter moment? The the uh, the time traveling hackers have gotten I did, into her. I did see Twitter that. account. She, she had tweeted out something in 2011 that said, oh, "You look Asian with your closed eyes." Mm-hmm. Was that the tweet you're referring to? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, freestyle Hunter, skier. Hunter Biden said he's shocked by her anti-Asian sentiments. Her her anti-yellow say, sentiments. Yes, is exactly. Um, also included in the lineup is freestyle skier Eileen Gu. Never heard of her. No. Nope. Model and advocate Paloma Esler. Never heard of her. Actress Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Never heard of her. And transgender model Valentina Sampaio. I have heard of him. Model and self. Hey. They? Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the week in woke. I'm supposed it. He would like to be referred to as she. Uh, what do you know? What the pronoun pronouns of said person are? Valentina Sampaio, I believe, is she her. You believe? She her believes. Ignorance of the law is no I don't, excuse, son. Uh, I don't believe. Okay. But, uh, and model in South Sudanese refugee Adut Akesh, as well as photographer Amanda De Um I've only heard of maybe two of these people, so. I, I don't know what that tells you. I know in Adriana Lima, she was a, an angel of the Victorias. One of the VIPs knows Adriana Lima. I, I got to know her well when I was 13. <laughs> and that, that catalog came in. Oh, who is she? Great. Now Victoria's Secret hopes to become a global advocate for female empowerment, their chief executive, Martin Waters, said. The women included in the new campaign will be known as the VS Collective and will focus on advising the brand, appearing in ads, and promote the retailer on social media. Anytime you include the word collective in your uh, marketing campaign, it's it's yeah probably not going to work out too well. Rapineau said that the company was sending a really harmful message that was patriarchal, sexist, viewing not just what it meant to be sexy, but what clothes were trying to accomplish through a male lens and through what men desired. She does realize that they're still going to be selling sexy lingerie, right? The whole point of this is for women. Why to look hasn't sexy. she been canceled? Why hasn't she been canceled? Oh, because it was ten years ago. It was a different time. 
I was actually watching a Disney movie. Why from, doesn't she? Why isn't she treated the same way as that uh, as that kid that can't go to the University of Texas or the or the choral director in Nashville? Rules for the well, well, purple hair really negates a lot of things. If you dyed your hair purple instead of blonde, Howie, not that you dye your hair; it's naturally blonde. It is. But if you dyed your hair purple, I'm sure you could get a lo- away with quite a bit. What if Clarence Thomas dyed his hair purple? Could he get away with it a lot? I'm sure he could. Would he get a $5 million book contract? He might. But at the end of the day, it's still going to be sexy lingerie that's meant to objectify women for their bodies. That's, that's Victoria's secret moneymaker right there. Fat phobia. Are you familiar with fat phobia, Howie? Well, I assume that... Uh, I'd say the, you've become fat phobic. That means you don't like fat people. <laughs> you shame fat people, okay. yes. That's why I was I, I was saddened today when uh, one of my former neighbors from Deerfield said, I remember Howie is a big fat slob. Well, you're a self-hating fat phobe. Is, that's quite possible. You're a former fat guy who now hates fat people. But the thing was, I wasn't fat when I lived in Deerfield. <laughs> but you got so he fat. was he was lying about me. According to the radical wings of social media, the latest form of discrimination to have its roots in racism. Racism. Is, yep, being fat phobic is racist. And here to explain was Fatty Arbuckle an African American? No, he was not. Well, how did he you get the name Fatty then? I, I thought fa- I thought calling people fatty fatty was racist. You just told me that. Well, obviously it's racist now, but back then it was just part of the culture. They didn't have words such as racist back then. How about tubby? Tubby? Well, how about Fats Waller? There's another one. Chubby well, see, there you go. Oh, Fats those, Domino. See, those guys are black. Yeah, so I guess that was racist. TikTok user Hannah Fullendorf. Uh, who's quite a hefty gal herself with blue hair, describes herself as a counselor and a fat liberationist. And this is her explanation as to why fat phobia is racist. Take notes. Here's your reminder that fat phobia is rooted in racism. The main thing to understand is that for the last 300-ish years, yes. white folks have been marketing fatness as a black trait. And this is regardless of whether or not black people individually were actually fat. That was irrelevant. The message they spread was that black women specifically were ravenous and uncontrollable, and these barbaric traits made them fat. On the flip side, thinness was marketed as a white trait. Again, regardless of whether or not individual white people were actually thin, that was irrelevant. The idea was that white women specifically were refined and restrained, and this led them to having delicate, thin bodies. Over the years, these messages have become more subtle, but even today, they are still very prevalent in conversations around race, health, capitalism, and poverty. You want to know what else is irrelevant? Facts. <laughs> she the, she had no facts in that. What, well, what she's a, big, just she's a big gal herself. What, so. what about the uh, the saying the opera isn't over until the fat lady sings? Now, are fat ladies in the opera predominantly white or black? White traditionally. So how does how does that? Fact. Well, because Mesh according with her statement, according to her logic, if you're fat and white, you're standing in solidarity with with black women. I guess I don't know how I. I and I saw you writing something down. Was were you writing down what fat liberationist was? No, I, I had a I had a number of questions here. Another one, you said she had this woman has blue hair, right? Yeah. Yes. And the woman from Victoria's Secrets has purple hair. Mm-hmm. Do we have some kind of totem pole? I mean, if I want to become woke, what color should I dye my blonde hair? What's the, what is the ultimate Ooh, woke the, color? I think um, it's probably a multicolor, like a neon. A rainbow neon color? Neon green with some pink highlights, maybe. That, that seems pretty uh, top of the echelon there. Uh, you've got to get back to me on this one. Taylor. I'll, I'll look it up. We, we need a monograph at the very least, but maybe case, even a dis- dissertation. In case you were wondering, fat liberation, also known as fat acceptance, fat pride, or fat empowerment, is a social movement that aims to change the so-called anti-fat bias regarding the stigma of obesity. It has nothing to do with health concerns and that you're probably going to die before you're 50 years old. They just want to normalize being very, very fat. And she was a good 325, easy. 
325. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, I can show you a picture of her during the break. It, what's her second job? Opera singer? Uh, her job, is, she says she's a counselor. Get this. She charges $180 an hour for coaching sessions for individuals and $228 per hour for couples. She noted on her website coaching. That, what's she coaching for? The Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Festival on the Fourth of July. See, those guys are skinny. Most of them, the winners. <laughs> they keep in shape all year round. Uh, she also notes on her website that income-based reduced fees are not available at this time. Oh, how surprising! <laughs> did you also know that tanning is racist, Howie? No, I did not know that. This comes from another TikTok user. I believe her name is Abby Leggings Leggy. Hey, it's that time of year again where white people can't wait to get really tan. If you're a white person, you can't wait to get super tan and you can't say Black Lives Matter and you're not an ally and you can't stand for your black, brown, indigenous, people of color, friends and family, then do everyone a favor and tanning is not for you. So thank you. So if you don't support Black Lives Matter, you are not allowed to be exposed to the sun. You, you have no rights to go outside. Has the sun been uh, asked about this new policy? That, is the sun supposed to enforce this? The yellow sun? Yes, the yellow sun. Hunter Biden doesn't like the sun, does he? No. I guess not. Joe, Joe Biden yesterday said the sun is hot. A very prescient statement by our president. <laughs> the sun is hot. And so there you have it. Being fat phobic and tan, it's all racist. Next week, I want to know what the, you want to know the, the color ranking system for yes, hair. Yes, I do. It's there's got a, it, a totem a totem pole of colors. A pie chart, totem pole. I, you probably can't use totem pole. That's that's racist. Yes, I guess it is. I guess it is. Eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. That's the week in woke. Thank you, Howie. Thank you. Thank you. 617 says, I'm having a prime rib dinner and apple pie. Enjoying my skinny privilege. Oh, well, apple, apple pie is pie, racist. Yeah, you, come on, guys. Was that last week or did that come up between? That was last week. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. You got these racists. Because apples apple. came from Asia. and We brought them over and it was a product of white colonialism. If you want to be woke, you only eat blueberry pie. Blueberry With pie. no sugar additives, because sugar is racist, too. That's right. We think blueberries are indigenous. That makes them okay. All right. Summer is a time for excitement, whether it's leaving your worries behind and going on vacation for a few days or just leaving your comfort zone and trying something new today with HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you can get delivery right to your door, no bother with the supermarkets, and you can pick your recipes, and it's just so easy. You can try new dishes without the usual hassles of cooking something for the first time. No puzzling over complicated recipes or hunting down ingredients that you will only use once. Taylor, you got a new, uh, any, any new uh, well, recipes? Today, today I polished off the um, chicken with fig sauce. It was very good. Fig sauce. Yeah, I, I never would have thought. Yeah, never yeah. would have made that. Every All would, we know is fig newtons. I, I would have passed that over in the regular old recipe book, but I saw it in, in HelloFresh, and I said, that sounds interesting. But tomorrow I'm bringing in the pork bulgogi, and I'm very excited. All right, and we talked to you yesterday about uh, one of our uh, listeners who's become a HelloFresh uh, fan. She said, send in your uh, your favorite HelloFresh recipes and what you've tried. Send them to taylor at howiecarshow.com, and uh, we'll read about them because uh, everybody's trying some uh, new stuff all the time. And uh, this uh, this listener had uh, plant-based protein, protein ragu rigatoni bake. That means it's ve- vegan. And she said she had a, she heated up some of it for lunch today and it was just great, just like a, a meat lasagna. And so it's, this is good stuff. It's a good way to get out of your uh, comfort zone. Try, give a, uh, give a uh, shot to some new dishes you wouldn't otherwise try. HelloFresh offers you more than 27 meals to choose from every week with new recipes constantly being added. So there's always something new to try. And again, it comes delivered directly to your door. You don't have to screw around with going to the grocery store and waiting in the lines and having to deal with all of the uh, leftover uh, hangovers from the uh, the lockdowns. With HelloFresh, there are meal options for different dietary lifestyles, vegan, low-cal, whatever. 
and they're inspired by different cuisines, even quick dinners and 10-minute lunches, perfect for switching things up. And with pictures, easy to follow directions, and pre-measured ingredients, each dish is easier to make than the last one. You will be so happy with HelloFresh. It'll uh, change your uh, eating habits permanently. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Howie12 and use code Howie12 to get 12 free meals across four boxes, including free shipping on your first box. That's code Howie12 at HelloFresh.com slash Howie12. I'm Howie Carr. You're listening to the Howie Carr Radio Network. <laughs> 